continuing our discussion on the uh, file export uh, feature pack and uh, we've just discussed the uh, custom option that lets you export data from from any um, arbitrary SQL table a uh, SQL query or DBF table so let's go ahead here and go back with the original option over here uh, then you can specify the client side file name this will be the the default file name that will be suggested to the user when he saves the file uh, to his local hard drive. You can specify whether um, the uh, export file will be zipped before it is sent from the server uh, to the client. Uh, record selection is either all records uh, in the grid or the current selection of records in the query which is what we just demonstrated. Then you can set the uh, maximum number of records. Uh, by default, we, we choose 10,000. If you want to uh, remove any limit, you can just set that to zero. And the reason that we have that is just in case you have a grid with a very, very large number of records and, um, uh, and you had um, uh, the user had not done any query that limited the number of rows, you wouldn't want to tie up your server for a long time while the user downloads you know tens of thousands of uh, of records then um, uh, in terms of events uh, there is a uh, client side before export event which uh, can be used to put up say a message or a, uh, a wait dialogue that tells you that the server is busy the after export event could be used to uh, clear that message after the uh, uh, Ajax callback completes and then a server side event uh, is called uh, after the export is completed on the server but before it has been sent back to the client so uh, you can use those events for uh, what, whatever you want so um, let's go ahead now and choose these uh, basic options over here and uh, let's go ahead now and save it and then go into uh, live preview and then uh, click the button and you can see there's the data that got exported and there's my data over there so um, going back to the uh, uh, designer now, let's go ahead t and take a look at what the options are if we choose a um, custom uh, export source. So you can see now when you choose custom, then you can specify whether you're going to be exporting data from um, a SQL table or a, uh, or a DBF table. Uh, and uh, then if in the case of a SQL table, you can specify an arbitrary connection string uh, SQL select statement and then a filter which uh, may or may not include um, fields from the current grid row so um, let's uh, let's go now and build a, a, a demo test case that shows how we can export line items for a given order um, so let's uh, cancel here and I'm going to pause while I build the basic infrastructure of this new example so um, what you see here is a grid on the Northwind's orders table and you can see there's one record here for each order. So let's go now and add a button that's going to export the line items for a given order. So I'll go back here and I'll choose a uh, button and um, I'll go here and say save that and now let's go and create our, bu our button so we'll add a new action export and uh, we'll export to Excel and we'll choose custom and uh, our connection string is going to be to the north winds and our SQL select is going to be um, we're going to uh, export data from the order details table and let's go ahead here and uh, we'll choose say all columns over there and then click OK now we need to uh, filter uh, based on data in the current grid. So uh, we can go here and we can say that order ID is going to be equal to and we want order ID from the current grid. So let's go ahead now and then save this and now let's uh, test running it. <coughs> 